My son was born with such strong lungs that he was a rare baby in the high altitude of Colorado who did not receive oxygen upon being born. He had to have seven breathing treatments and a steroid just to breathe yesterday. Thank you. We moved out here sight unseen uh, with really high hopes and we loved it here. I mean, as soon as we got here, like going through the gorge, it reminded me of like Jurassic Park or something. For somebody who's never traveled much, I mean, it just seemed that big and that beautiful and the waterfalls on the way in. It was like magic. Yeah, we can just get rid of it. I don't need it. Driving? You going? My son started having these breathing issues. I'm gonna move stuff. You wanna come out? No, you wanna stay in there? Okay. <laughs> and then they just kept getting worse and worse. We really just loved it here. You know, we really did. It got to the point where his face was actually turning colors, like a purplish. So at that point, we took him just immediately in to the urgent care and they told us that they thought he had pneumonia and then i was preparing testimony for a cleaner oregon bill at a coffee shop the next day and luke my partner called me and he was like you need to get home like now so i came home took him to the er he was hor horrible he was just laying on the bed like <gasps> like gasping for air at the hospital they asked us has he had any exposure to anybody smoking indoors has he been around you know, any machines emitting large amounts of smoke? And we're like, no, no, no. And they were like, well, do you live off a main road? And you, you know, we do. So we're like, yeah, we live off of uh, Taylor's Ferry in Terwilliger in Southwest. And then they were like, his condition is, is a reaction to pollution. It's not an actual defect with his lungs. And then they were like, oh, you know, lots of people have problems with the diesel from, from these areas. So they're like, he's probably just having an environmental reaction to large amounts of pollution. Look, Dad, Obi's helping you. I mean, they said it like it wasn't even anything really abnormal about it. Okay, do it now or I'm gonna throw it out. It's go time. Let's do it. That whole time I was there with him, I was just holding him like, thinking, here I've been in this space, advocating for clean air. I brought him into this. I love you so much. We're ready to go now. We can't stay here. Like, when, with our two-year-old, can't breathe. It doesn't matter if I get the dream job here or how much we like hiking in the gorge. Like, Obi can't breathe. And I felt um, so embarrassed that I even thought about it that long, you know? All right, I think we're probably good to go. I'm gonna turn off all the lights. This isn't like a permanent thing that my child is now suffering from pollution. Oh man, that's weird. Yeah. And this is something that lawmakers could actually cure here. It was kind of like our life is in your hands. Obviously you're gonna save it, right? Like obviously you'll do the right thing. We're leaving today and it's still not done. It's so obvious we have some of the worst air in the country and it's not enough to motivate these folks who talk about how green we are all the time to actually do something. And it blows my mind. <laughs> <laughs>